Hi and welcome to a tutorial on how to work with drama screenplays in Dramatify. Dramatify supports several kinds of scripts and in this tutorial we will focus on screenplays. In Dramatify a screenplay is no longer just a text, it's also the start of an intricate web of links that runs through your entire production to end in a call sheet. Dramatify handles production with a single screenplay, like a feature film, as well as a series with any number of episodes. The rule is that one script equals one episode. Even though Dramatify's interface is in English, you can write or import a screenplay in any language, including right-to-left languages like Arabic, Hebrew and Farsi. Only team members who have been made admins can access the edit mode and write, import, edit and delete the script. Normally, all team members can read the entire script, but if your story needs to be secret, you can turn off access to the script section for the team members that should not have access. To manage access, go to People in the sidebar menu, the fastest way to set permissions when you add a new team member. You can also click on the Edit Member icon and select Edit. In both cases, you use the same form to set the permissions. If the team member should be able to edit the script, check admin. If the team member should not be able to even read the script, uncheck access to script. It's turned on by default. Now, if you have turned off access to the script section, all team members will still be able to read the script of each scene in the call sheets after you have published them, but only in the order you shoot them. With the scene scripts in the call sheet, you never have to send or print the script or individual scene scripts to the cast and crew. They have it in their pocket. If your story is super, super secret, there's always the option of adding a script that only consists of scene headings. You can then use them as placeholders for breakdown scheduling and call sheets, and no one in the team will see any part of the script unless you give it to them in some other way. Let's start adding scripts. To add a drama screenplay, you click on the Scripts tab in the right-hand sidebar. If you want to add more than one script to a production, please watch our tutorial on episodes and series first. On the script page, you can now choose which kind of script you want to add, and since we are focusing on drama in this tutorial, we click on Create Screenplay. You can now do one of two things. To write a new screenplay from scratch, just add a title and click Save. You can also import a screenplay through the Final Draft FDX file format. More about that shortly. For this tutorial, we will start by creating a screenplay from scratch. Just add a title for your screenplay and click Save. As you see, the page is blank apart from the screenplay title because we have not added any scenes yet. To add a new scene, just click the Add Scene button and you will activate the editor. It's important to understand that Dramatify is not like a regular word processor or a screenwriting program where you just write and write. In Dramatify, think of each scene as its own little container. This means that you can easily start making an outline of the script, add action and later dialogue, as well as shift scenes around without any copy and paste. You only need to change scene numbers. Since Dramatify is an online tool, you can team write from different locales around the world. Just be aware that if you are working on the exact same scene, at the exact same moment, you might overwrite what your colleague just wrote, depending on who saved last. In the scene editor, you can add and edit the scene number and the slug, also known as the scene heading. You then write, edit and format your scene as you like. To format or change formatting, simply mark the words or the paragraph and choose formatting in the styles drop-down, where you find all the common scene formats. If you write in a right-to-left language, like Arabic, Hebrew or Farsi, click on the right-to-left button to the right in the editor toolbar. As you see, the cursor moves to the right-hand side of the text area. When you are done writing, you save your scene and repeat to create the second scene. To edit a scene, just click on the blue scene header. If the scene header isn't blue but black, that means you do not have admin permissions and therefore haven't the right to edit the script. To edit the script, just click in the main text area and the editor will appear. As before, mark any text you want to format or reformat and select the correct formatting in the drop-down style section. Note the checkbox below the text area. Here you can trigger a new revision with the standard final draft revision colors starting at pink. Here's how it looks in the script for cast and crew. 
To delete the scene, click on the red Delete Scene button in the editor. However, if you are in production, removing the scene text and changing the scene header to Deleted Scene might be a better option. This way you inform your team that the scene has been deleted and the scene number order is kept, without any wondering where the scene have disappeared to, or more importantly, triggering any syncing errors with breakdown and scheduling. To delete an entire screenplay, you click the Edit menu and select Delete Screenplay. Above it in the menu you see Edit Script. Here you can change the screenplay title should you need to. If we scroll down the page, you also have the option of adding a screenplay cover if anybody wants to print the screenplay. As you see, the cover formats as per American Screenwriting Standard. When a team member prints a screenplay, either on paper or as a PDF, we also automatically watermark the script with the logo you have on your production company page in Dramatify, as well as tracking information in the bottom of the page, with who printed the script, their role, email address and date. Most productions have screenwriters using a professional screenwriting program. To import an existing screenplay, use an FDX file format that has been exported from Final Draft or a FDX compatible program like Scrivener, Storyist, Adobe Story, Trailby or Fade In. We cannot import from Moviematic Screenwriter, Celtics, Microsoft Word or a PDF for the simple reason that they only export flat text files. That means that the Dramatify have no way of identifying where a scene begins, who is a character, or which text is dialogue. However, there are ways of converting these types of files to FDX, so please read our FRQ to learn more. A tip! If you number your scenes before import, you will have an easier time importing and syncing up revisions and rewrite. Also, check through your scene headings. A text with the scene heading formatting should only be used to indicate a scene heading, and not for simply getting uppercase letters, as that will make your import and syncing process more difficult. To import a screenplay, we again click on Scripts in the sidebar menu and select Create Screenplay. We add a title and select an FDX file to import and click Save. Note that Dramatify will now tell you how many characters, sets and scenes you will import. Click Start the import. You will now get a list of all the characters in the script. If this is your first script, all the characters will be new, and you only need to categorize them into main characters, supporting, extra stunts and so on. If you see that the screenwriter have misspelled a name and you ended up with two characters instead of one, just click Ignore this character on the misspelled character and it will not be imported. The same goes for any formatting errors in the original screenplay, resulting in other elements being tagged as characters. If you make a series, Dramatify will automatically recognize characters that already exist and link up previous character information with a new script thus saving you a ton of work. When you have gone through the character list, click Save at the bottom and go to the next page. You should now have a pretty complete character list. If you do not want to import any characters, you can click Skip at the top. Sets work pretty much like characters, with the difference that Dramatify tries to determine if a scene is interior, exterior or a combination. Sometimes the ghost in the machine can't guess, and you have to help it by selecting the correct setting for the scene at int x. If you have very few or no sets, that means that your original script is not correctly formatted, but you can add those in the breakdown. When done, click save at the bottom and go to the next page. You should now have a complete set list. If you do not want to import any sets, you can click skip at the top. The last step of the import process is to check through your scenes. If your screenplay didn't have numbered scenes, click on Renumber Scenes to add scene numbers. If everything looks as it should, click on any of the blue buttons at the bottom to import your script. If you have formatting errors that have created a scene where there shouldn't be one, you can either check Ignore Scene, which doesn't import the scene and its content at all, or indicate that it's part of a previous scene. Remove the scene number, check part of another scene, and write the correct number of that scene. You might have to manually change the following scene numbers to get it all in the right sequence. Click on any of the blue buttons at the bottom to import your script. Editing your imported script, as well as adding a cover page and printing, 
works in the same way as for a screenplay written in Dramatify, as I showed earlier in the tutorial. If you do your main rewriting and editing in a screenwriting program, you can upload and sync revisions and rewrites. All information you already have added to your production, including breakdown and scheduling, will be preserved. Only the script content will change. To upload a revised screenplay, click on the Edit menu and select Edit Script. Underneath the blue information text, click on Browse to find the revised script file that should have the FTX file ending, and then click Save at the bottom of the page. Dramatify will now match on scene number, scene order, slugs and the first paragraph of the scene text. If a scene already exists, this default setting will be to replace the scene content. You can also choose not to replace a scene, keeping the current scene number, scene header and scene content. If you only want to replace a few scenes, you can click on the blue button named Select Do Not Replace This Scene for All Scenes. Then all scenes will be marked as Do Not Replace and you simply select This is a new scene for the new scenes and replace existing scene content for the rewritten scenes you want to replace. An important note on new scenes. If you have started the breakdown, it's important that you keep the existing scene numbers in order. New scenes should therefore be added with a letter attached. If you add a new scene between scene 1 and 2, it should be numbered 1b, then 1c, and so on. If your replaced scenes are out of order compared to your original script in Dramatify, your breakdown will also get out of order. If you have not numbered your scenes before importing your original version, there are sometimes a few errors if several scenes have the same scene heading. You quickly solve that by manually indicating the correct scene number with a drop-down. You can upload as many screenplay revisions and rewrites as you like. If you want to point out to the cast and crew that a scene has been revised, just click on the slug and click Scene Revision, and then Save. That's all for now. Thank you for dramatifying your production and saving a lot of trees.